Hello again, sorry about that, we lost our signal there, just as we were about to start Psalm 29 here on Thursday morning in church. Let's start again, Psalm 29. Honour the Lord, you heavenly beings. Honour the Lord for his glory and strength. Honour the Lord for the glory of his name. Worship the Lord in the splendour of his holiness. The voice of the Lord echoes above the sea. The God of glory thunders. The Lord thunders over the mighty sea. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The voice of the Lord splits the mighty cedars. The Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon's mountains skip like a calf. He makes Mount Hermon leap like a young wild oxen. The voice of the Lord strikes with bolts of lightning. The voice of the Lord makes barren wilderness quake. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord the Lord twists the mighty oaks and strips the forest bare. In his temple, everyone shouts glory. The Lord rules over the floodwaters. The Lord reigns as king forever. The Lord gives his people strength. The Lord blesses them with peace. Amen. It's another psalm which we quite often don't read, but it talks about the glory of God. There are other psalms that we read about how the heavens declare and, and how the stars are his handiwork. Um, we don't read that one as often when it comes to might and power of God. It takes it from a slightly different angle, talking about how God is holy, how he is mighty. It talks about how he splits the cedars of Lebanon. Now, these are great big trees, uh, huge big, le- big cedars. Um, and to be able to split one of those is incredible. It shows incredible strength and power. It just shows how mighty and how powerful God is. And yet, it says, in his temple, everyone shouts glory. It says, the Lord gives his people strength. The Lord blesses them with peace. So even in a psalm, which you could say maybe is frightening because it talks about God's voice splitting things and how he twists. It talks about how God gives us peace. Again, it's just another way of praising God and worshipping God. We're very good at asking for things. We're not very good at coming back and saying thank you. We're not very good at just worshipping and and just recognising who God is. And this is just a psalm in the midst of all the ups and downs of life, all the the times of despair, uh, uh, just all the times of battle and all, just to pause and to think who God is. You know, maybe today is not the day that you would tend to do that because it's wet and it's raining outside. Maybe you would tend to pause and, and thank God when you see a glorious sunshine. But think about the rain as well. We need it to water crops. We need it to fill our reservoirs wherever we turn on our taps. We need it just to, to keep everything moving and flowing and, and to keep nourishment and to keep life. We, in this country, particularly, we take it for granted. We go to the tap, we turn it on, we have fresh, clean water to drink. But where does that come from? How does that cycle of things happen? Well, we need the rain. We need the sunshine as well to help the rain clouds to build up then so they can rain. You know, we need all of that together and it's the wonder and the glory of all that God has done for us. So let's pause this morning. Let's give thanks for that. Father, I thank you for the wonder and the glory of this world. It's hard for us really to take it in just how everything works. How we have a sun at the centre of our universe. How we revolve around that sun. And as we do so, we have day and night. We have winter and summer. Lord, as the moon revolves around us, how then we have tides which ebb and flow. Lord, and just how, how you make everything work together. The cycle of life, the cycle of this world. Lord, it is all in your hands, all under your control. For that we thank you and we praise you. Lord, we try often to take it for granted, but help us to actually stop and consider the world around us. To look at the glory of your designing hand and then to thank you for that. Lord, help us this day. Keep us safe as we come down the church this morning to to bring gifts to you for to be used for the food bank, Lord, which we think about those who are are less fortunate than ourselves. Lord, we ask that you would take that food, take it to the homes where it's needed the most, and that it would go with your blessing. Lord, just keep us safe as we do that. And just again, remind us today of your wonder, your glory, your might. Father, thank you now and always. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Like I said there, folks, today is our day for doing drop-off for food bank. Um, so if you've got anything, any food donations you want to bring down, any cleaning products or toiletries, please bring them down between 10 and 12. 
Um, if you happen to have any church envelopes you want to drop off as well, that's fine. Drop them off as well. Um, we'll take those in for you. Uh, and just as you come and go, please stay safe. Uh, we do have cones out in the car park to remind us all of the two metre distancing. Because it is a wet day, as you come in through West Street, you'd be directed in through the, the doors to the Welcome Area and out through the other side, just to walk through to be able to drop things off. Uh, again, we've got two metre markings on the floor. We have sans hand sanitizer in, in place. Um, so please just remember to, to keep that flow going uh, and also just uh, maybe have a wee chance for a quick chat as well while we're at it. But take care this morning and see you again tomorrow morning. All right, take care. God bless. Bye.